Hey guys, welcome up to season six, episode thirteen of Grey's Anatomy. Here we go. We ask a lot of our patients. We put them to sleep, cut them open. The new chief. This is crazy. Doubt, always blue it out your eyes. I think he'll be a very good chief. Irony is, trust is hard for surgeons because we're trained from day one that we can't trust anyone but ourselves. The only instincts you can count on are your own. I don't even know what this big meeting's all about. I heard there was a coup. Whoever's out, Shepard's in, is that true? We know what you know. Well, simple math. Shepard hates the merger. You're from Mercy West. You're toast. Derek's not gonna fire people just because they're from Mercy West. He's not like I don't, that. I don't think he would do that either. and fair. Yeah, tell that to Weber. The only skills you can count on are your own. You leave the classroom. People are really mad at him walk. for this. I this see. is interesting. I almost got the tumor out. There's no, no bleeders. I don't see any bleeders. Yeah, I, I don't see a, a reason why down here. So why is her heart rate going through the roof? What? Is, wait, wait, wait. Did I just feel movement? Is she awake? She's awake, Dr. Bailey. The patient's awake. Dude. Whether you trust them. Just try to breathe. Because you want to be purple. That guy's gonna lose his job if you want to see who's gonna lose their job. What the hell is he wearing? It's good. Jeez. He looks like an undertaker. <laughs> I promise you, he'll be clapped. Looks like the undertaker. <laughs> I want to thank you all for being here. I know you're busy, so I'll try to make this quick. As you may have heard, I have been appointed the new interim chief. I intend to right those wrongs and uh, told you bring this hospital back to its former glory. Former glory? Oh, Undertaker needs a speechwriter. <laughs> oh, yeah, screwed. What I meant uh, by that is what I'm trying to say is I want to thank you for your support in advance. Uh, that's all. Yeah! I mean, do, do we really... What? Are we gonna be mad at him? Are we supposed to be mad at him? Because he took the alcoholic off the job? Is that what's... Oh, Yang usually comes in early today. You know what? Yang's not on my service today. I want you to work with me today so I can see if she's right. What does she say? That you're the best babysitter in the hospital. Shut up. You don't think Pete's is hardcore? Because you can say that to my face, Avery. He's a sucker now. I heard that <clears throat> Sloan was released from the hospital in LA. Mark, this is some kind of joke. You're not even gonna look at me. Torres, I have a heptacubitus ulcer I need you to check out. Why is he being such a baby? Really mature, Mark. Which says that you are voluntarily enrolling yourself in a physician's rehabilitation and treatment program. In a rehab retreat. So, bro, you get out. How can see? See, he's helping him. I don't. I don't get it. Why are people mad? I need some time. He has no business being in that role. What is it? He has about? tried thousands of times to help him. I don't get the problem. Sorry to interrupt, but Chief. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, Doctor Shepard. There's a situation that needs your attention. She had the appropriate the open on the table. There's no way to allow her to stop. Stop. Just take a deep breath. Okay, what was that? That was so tragic. You're very cheap, Lynn. Use the tie. What? Honestly. <laughs> How about the part when I woke up on the table? How well did that part go? Where I could smell my own burning flesh. How was that? I couldn't move. I was awake and couldn't move, and you had no idea. How well did that part go? You draw CBC, a Kim 18, and let's do some junior type oh, studies. Oh, here's what we do. We? Did you not hear her? That girl is traumatized, so the only thing we are doing is getting sued. 
I know that you're new here. I know that you probably still have a chip on your shoulder because your parking space at Mercy West was better. And I know that you're an anesthesiologist, which means you make buckets of money, logging reasonable hours, sitting on your behind, and flipping through Architectural Digest while somebody on the other side of the curtain does the real work. Trust him to do his job so that we can do ours. We expect the gas man to stay awake at the switch no matter how long and boring a procedure might be. We expect the gas man to stay focused enough to keep the patient unconscious. Off and on for months. Fred, is the pain constant or is it worse at times, better at others? It's usually bad in the morning. I so know that guy. Which I might point out is uh, when he has to go to school. Abdomen's soft, non tender, not rigid. Uh, bowel sounds are good. So, I'd like to cover all the bases. Dr. Krev, how would you proceed? We could try a triple contrast CT. Mm -hmm. Do it. Brad, this is going to cost us thousands of dollars, and insurance only covers part of it. You, you know that, right? I'm not faking it. You've been on every one of my cases since I've arrived. This is a teaching hospital. It's only fair I give other residents a chance. Do you think you'll have room on your service tomorrow or the next day? I, uh, I... I don't know. I just... I can't today, Christina, okay? I just... I can't. Um, Leslie? Hey, uh, this will only take a moment. We just need to examine your check. Hey, careful! I don't want you to touch me. Okay, uh, I, I know that you've been through a lot what? today, but if we don't check... I don't remember. Could you not rip those? He isn't speaking to me. He barely even looks at me. And I know that we broke up, but we still work together. And I'm gonna be a plastic surgeon. You're not gonna be a plastic surgeon. Still, okay, we're gonna have to see each other every day. I mean, he's best friends with my sister's posted husband. I. It's not like he didn't sleep with Addison. True. More than once. What? Hmm? Nothing. <laughs> I'm saying more than once? More than once? <laughs> I mean, no kid wants to be the loser missing class to go to the hospital. I don't care how lame you are. I loved the hospital when I was a kid. No school. Lots of cool medical supplies to play with. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> she presented with severe but intermittent abdominal pain. Brad's father didn't want us to run a CT. You really think he's going to agree to exploratory surgery? Ooh. Ooh. No. What the hell is happening? I wanted the job. I wanted the job. I admit that. I didn't want to end your career. Well, that part's not up to you, is it? I mean, you did what you had to do. But this part is up to me. So get out. No! Stop it, both of you. People are watching. Get back to type she has means she metabolizes anesthetic drugs too fast. Way more rapidly than you or me. There's no way we could have known that before surgery. So this is why she woke up? It is. Interesting. You don't have to get out of your knees and apologize, but I would like something heartfelt. She's gonna need a second surgery. For an incision site and stop bleeding, she might have internal bleeding. Okay, it's not gonna be easy, but now I know how to keep her under. She won't let me touch her. Uh oh. I mean, at that point, you're gonna have to have oh, someone else do it. But, yeah. They always trust me. Like I've never. Today sucks. Mark sucks. You, you ain't got burns on the girl parts. Oh, oh, wow. I do not. It's not on my girl parts. So they're on our ass because she's walking. Come on. The rest of you. Bye. <laughs> oh my god! It's so loud! How did you. What did you, you have great marks burned into your ass? <laughs> yeah, bent marks, but same difference. Owen's being very caveman like. And it's hot. Vaguely disturbing, but mostly hot. 
I think he might still be a little upset that I offered him to Teddy. Alex! Oh. Hot cross buns. That's gonna bless <laughs> Here, I, I, let's go. Come on. Oh. Is this a sex injury? Oh my god. It is. I used to have sex injuries with Mark. Mark was really awesome at leaving you with good sex injuries. And... <laughs> Please don't cry on my ass. <laughs> hey, are you busy? I'm Troutman. Well, everything you asked for is all here in numerical order according to room number. Yang always orders them according to priority. Most urgent to least urgent, but... It's fine. It'll work. Follow me. No. Just no. You are not cutting open our son. No surgery. It's insane. Just no. No. He probably has something wrong with him, but the dad's not, like, he's not being ridiculous here. You think it's right for them to take him home? It isn't. Shh. I'm teaching. You think he's faking? No. What are you gonna do? I'd like to push his dad's face into a wall. No offense. <laughs> yeah, no, th that'd be good. Well, barring physical violence, what are you gonna do? This is Pete. You have to have enough evidence. Themselves. So, in addition yeah. to surgery, a big part of the job is advocating for them. You think you can do that? But if we're right, if he has mesenteric ischemia and you take him home, the blood flow to his intestine will slowly stop, killing the tissue, causing so this, is, this sick, is what I mean. Forcing there his body into such intense shock that by the time you realize what's happening and you call an ambulance, it's to zero. You think he's faking? I get that. So the only real question is, how sure are you? How sure? Nice. There you go. There you go. I understand your hesitation, but it was like being in a coffin. Alive in a coffin. I couldn't talk, couldn't move. The thought of your hand back inside me. This is a mess. You can do it. What? You were there. You stayed calm. Far more experienced. She's not touching me. You have to promise me she won't touch me. You can do it. She can't. That's crazy. I mean, I get it, but that's kind of, that's, wow. Hey, hey, hey. It's not my story to tell. Heads up. Looks like I'm facing a lawsuit. First day out. Asian wakes up on the table. You know Lexi slept with Alex Karev while I was in L.A. dealing with my sick daughter? What? You're remarried. What do you care? I'm just saying the Karev thing is forgivable. Consider it. Not to me. Dude, you're being so hypocritical. What? Is that a hickey? Not like me and Lexi were way better than Yang and Bertha. Yeah, I never understood those two there too. Oslovic. And I'm gonna bet she'd never make it down that aisle. 150 bucks. What a uh, Oh, you haven't heard that story? That's a good story. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> Bailey's letting me operate on a post-op internal bleeding patient. By myself. Do you think I can handle it? I think if my mother were here to see this, she would kick your ass even <laughs> considering it. These lips of bowel look clean too. By not finding anything, we're one step closer to finding out what isn't wrong with Brad, which means we're one step closer to finding out what is. At least that's what you're gonna tell his very angry parents. Me? Yeah, you bullied him into surgery. I took the heat. Oh god. Perception, please. I wouldn't let you operate unless I thought you can handle it. Well, I could perforate your bowel. You won't! Richard Weber is not a man who wastes his time on just anybody. The last time he mentored a surgeon, it was me. Well, you think I don't have talent? <laughs> All right, well, hurry up and finish scrubbing in. Tell me if you think that I need to start looking for a job. Is there a reason our son is in ICU? Did you figure out what's wrong? Uh, not exactly. Brad became briefly unstable in surgery, so we had to put in a central line. It's got a little kink, so his mom it didn't start. Alex. Hang on, are you saying you cut into our son for Bruh. nothing and caused more damage? Okay. We can get a chest strain and some blood. He's already cut 700 cc's of blood. What's going on? Sir, you need to leave right now. What the hell is going on? I need to open him up. Scalpel. Get them out of there. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is going on with that? No suction, please. I think I got it. Oh, yeah, what happened? We put out more than two rooms of blood. Unless 
five minutes. But I think I found the source because the bleeding started to calm down. All right, jump on. We're moving to the OR. Oh, it's Teddy. Sorry. Man, it's Teddy. Sorry, it's true. No, but I, I have oh, to. Oh, God. This is not a resident today. Stay here with me. She's waiting for Yang. Yang. Yeah, Believe me, I know I'm not Christina Yang. Okay, you made that perfectly clear today. But if you give me a chance, I have very good hands. I can do this. Okay, I can help. Can you light the femoral artery in vain? And now we're gonna cool him down fast. We have Ooh. 30 minutes to complete this repair or this patient is toast. BP stable, bis level's 45. She's sound asleep, just like the last time you asked, two minutes ago. I don't read Architectural Digest in the OR. Huh. That uh, magazine I read earlier, that was the Journal of Clinical Anesthesia, in case you were wondering. Yeah. I actually don't like the sitting down part of my job. It's not great for the back, you know, and I wanna keep in shape so I can lift my big buckets of money. Jesus. When she woke up, it was one of the scariest moments of my life, so I yelled. And then I yelled some more. So what I did. What is that, an apology? Closest thing you're gonna get. <laughs> oh, nice skin graft. Thank you. So I was talking to Lexi. Why? Why? <laughs> When? Why are you talking to her? Mark, don't you think you're being a little... What, mad, offended, disgusted? Hypocritical, sexist, immature? She dumped me! You know how big a step that is for me, and you know how much I wanted to take that step with Lexi. I'm not the one who's immature. Dr. Altman, when I paid you, I expect an answer. I saw you an arts dissection? I thought, at the very least... I can rely on you to act professionally. Okay. You're right. It won't happen again. I should have responded to your page. I, this wasn't Christina's fault. I detained her for the trouble thing. Oh, really? What are you trying to do to me? I'm Christina. I'm... Oof. His heart ruptured? This is unbelievable. How could you not find this? Well, his heart symptoms presented as abdominal pain, which is an extremely rare presentation. It's almost impossible to diagnose. You call that fun? Dude, seriously, we're the only reason your kid's alive. Okay, correct. If you'd had it your way, you'd have been home when Brad's aorta ruptured and he'd be dead right now. Think about how much school he'd be missing then, huh? Rev, we're done here. Excuse me, follow me right now. Uh, all due respect, Chief, everybody's been seeing you like this all day. <laughs> I don't know details. I don't know what's going on with you, but you can't sit here anymore. Not like this. It's like saying that they were right. Right about doing this. Right about me. Say right they are right. They want me to say I'm an alcoholic. You need to accept that. Well, are you an alcoholic? You are better than this. I've seen you be better. Look, the way to win, the way to beat them, is to stop fighting them. You go get better. If you want to work in peds, you can't get emotional. You said it was part of the job. There's a difference between advocating for tiny humans and berating terrified parents, patients. But until you've been a parent, until you've stayed up nights with a screaming infant or dealt day in and day out with a terrorist toddler or raised a lying teenager, you don't get to judge parents. You have to advocate for the kids. You Rev, you saved that kid's life today. How'd it feel? Feels great. Hardcore, right? <laughs> I keep forgetting she has those shoes. <laughs> I don't expect to lend your trust overnight. But I want each of you to know you have mine. Which is why I felt it was important to personally come in here and uh, apologize. I'd like to offer each of you your jobs back. You now they're going to be cuts down the line. But you both deserve a fight. No freaking way! 
I liked her. Shepherd, thank you. Thank you. I am not focused on the past. I'm mad at you. I'm trying to understand you. You've been trying to screw me into submission. I don't know you. I don't know you because you don't give me anything. I give you everything. Burke. What? Burke. Preston Burke, you were engaged. It was almost a wedding. Why didn't that happen? But you have to give me something back. Well, Burke is irrelevant. It's not yet. I got in three years' time. That's not fair. I'm trying to love you. One day I was me, Christina Yang, and then suddenly I was lying for him and uh, jeopardizing my career, and uh, I lost myself for a long time, and now that I'm finally me again, when you asked me to ignore Teddy's page, you took a piece of me that will never happen again. You feel better? <laughs> I plan to honor Richard Weber and his legacy. Not undo it. Which is why I'm both humbled and honored to be your new chief of surgery. I again I don't get I don't get how you could be mad at him. I don't even see it. Like I feel like I see it differently than sometimes even Derek says how he sees it. This entire process is not just these last few episodes. You know, this in, this has been a season long growing thing. And that's what I'm looking at it as. Which is how I don't see it as him just simply going in there, screwing him over, and taking his job. And I think he's fit for the job. I think he should be the guy right now. Uh, whether or not, you know, down the road things change, I don't know. I'm not there yet. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. Uh, April got her job back. That makes more sense. Because... I was stunned because she seemed like she was going to be a bigger character and I was stunned when she was just like, goodbye. <laughs> okay. Um, and that other girl got her job back, which is cool. Um, yeah. Relationships are growing. Others are crumbling. And sometimes I want to slam my face into a brick wall. But you know what? That's Grey's Anatomy. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. See y'all next time.